Dan Alexa Camilo. Mongolia, Latvia, Guatemala, Korea, Jordan. Judges at ringside. It's about 2-1-5. Another one in the light welterweight division. And this is a relentless schedule for the for the officials these these first few days. It's it, it is for everybody, but it is not easy. Cocooning yourself and just zoning in mentally, staying completely focused to to judge fight after fight after fight and. I think they've done a very good job of it so far. It's been very little that I've disagreed with. Not that I am. Not that I'm the oracle and the and the, Round one. <laughs> and the font of all true knowledge. But um, yeah, I just thought I should uh, give them a mention there because it is it's a tough ask. Good right hand there. Good combination off the ropes from Kocharian. Galdekaita getting caught on the way in there. We know what she's going to do. We've seen that from the first 25 seconds. She's going to walk forward and let her hands go. There's not that much science behind it. She's not really moving that head too much, and that's why she's been picked off by Kocharin a good few times already, who is a lot taller and does need to try and keep this on the inside. Keep throwing that jab, one, two. Knock her off balance. She's trying to move that head from side to side a little bit more now. Galdekaita, that's critical, this kind of style. We've seen lots of these matchups over the last few days. If you're going to fight like this, you've got to try and bob and weave your way in. Otherwise, if the person you're up against has got a jab, then you will eat it. You'll be fed a steady diet of it. Nice chopping down right hand there from. Chariot. I do think Galdekaida might have some joy here. As I say that, a nice snappy one-two there from Kocharian. She's got to keep snapping that out. Just past the halfway point of, of round one. Smile there from Galdekaida trying to cover up. Gets onto the inside there and then just a little bit too tight. Got a couple of way to the body, but Galdekaita, or rather Kacharin, was able just to, to wrap her up. Head movement just stopped there completely. She had the gloves up, but in the end just walked straight in and that's easy for Kocharian. She's got quite a languid style, Kocharian. Looks for that long right hand. I think she felt that she heard her opponent there because really looked to get in after it. What she can tend to do a bit, Galdekaita, is, is move that head, move that upper body as she's walking into range. And then when she gets into range, she stops moving it. She did it, did exactly that just there. You see fighters do that quite a lot. They move their head when they're out of range, and then when they get into range, they stop moving it. Which kind of defeats the point of it a bit. Good right hand to the body there, followed by the left from Kacharian. That's a good shot. That right to the body is a good shot for her. You could hear that one land. Bell goes at the end of the first. Gauda Kaita, I can tell you, seems like she's in trouble in that red corner away to my right hand side. She's breathing very, very heavily. I think maybe one of those body shots has, has done some damage there because that's not your regulation breathlessness. It really isn't. She seems hurt there to me. Some of the sounds that are coming from her. You won't be able to pick them up, but I can. There's a couple of solid right hands to the body right towards the end of the round that really hit the spot. 
So into the second, Beata Galdekaiter of Lithuania in the red, Alida Kacharian of Armenia in the blue. And she looks absolutely dead on her feet there, Galdekaiter, to be honest, as she walked in there very wearily trying to move that head. She took some stick in that opening round. There's a right to the body again there. Kacharian goes upstairs and looks to try and step on it. Just walking forward there, Galdekaita. That's easy enough for Kacharian to evade. This is just pure effort here from Galdekaita. That's a good bit of head movement, though, just rolling away to a right hand side. Got inside the jab. Didn't get inside that one. Right to the body from Kacharian. She throws that well. I think those body shots are really doing some damage there for Kacharian. Gaudekaito with the gloves kind of dropped there, takes a big gulp of breath. She really hasn't got much left here at all. One, two there from Kacharian. <laughs> Trying to move that head, but just got caught by the right hand. A little short right hand up from the waist here from Kacharin. If Kacharin stepped on the gas a bit here and put some punches together. I think she could get the stoppage. There's that right to the body again. It's making me wince every time I hear it. Referee having a good look there, Alexander Kamadov. He's having a good look at Galdekaita every time something lands. And Kacharin is kind of backing off here. And there comes the one, two. She's just waiting for Galdekaita to come forward. She's not really being that proactive. She could be if she wanted to be. Like I said, if she, if she decides to step on Galdekaita here, I think she could probably finish this, but she's just happy to allow her opponent to come to her because she knows she will and then just pick her off. Getting towards the end of round two. And I'd like to see the, the Lithuanian corner pull their fighter out at the end of this round, to be honest, because she's just getting a beating here. That's all that's happening. She's getting a systematic beating. Big left hand. We don't need to see another three minutes of this. We really don't. She's in trouble in the corner there. She's brave, but she's in trouble. They need to save her. Come on, corner, pull her out. Well, credit to a Galdekaita. Like I said, she's brave. She'll keep coming forward, she'll keep swinging, she'll keep trying, but... I think the corner could have shown a bit of compassion there and stopped this. Because we know what's coming here. In with the standing count there, Alexander Kamadov. I don't, I don't think he's going to let this continue much longer, up, to be honest with you. I think he might stop it now, actually. Well, he lets it go on a little bit longer. If he has to step in for another standing count, I'm pretty sure he's going to stop this. Just more and more landing there from 
from Kacharya. I... I don't know what it is that the, the Lithuanian corner expect to see here. I don't know what they're learning from this. I don't know what Gal de Keiter is learning from this. Is this character building? Is that is that supposed to be the idea of it? And Kacharin's taking it easy on her here. Trying to bounce on the balls of her feet a little bit there into the second half of round three. Nice one, too, again there, and the referee jumps in with a standing count. Come on, stop it. Box on. Forward she comes. Gal de Keiter, as I said, nothing wrong with her bravery. 1 2 there from Kacharian. Single right hand there from Kacharian. Still swinging, Gal de Keiter. And there's the 1 2 again there, and you just heard the sound that came from the, the Lithuanian fighter. This is taking. An enormous effort from her, and I've got all the admiration in the world for the fact that she's going to finish this fight. And lands a right hand there, right towards the end. Touch your gloves between the two. And she deserves a lot of credit for getting through to the end there. Kacharin could have put a, a foot down on the pedal there any time, really, in that final round. Put a few combinations together, and, and I think the referee would have would have stopped it. But, but as it was, I can understand why he didn't, because it never got... Well, she was still on her feet, quite simply, and she was still willing to continue. I think the corner should have pulled her out with a round to go, because there was just no possible way that she could win the fight from there. And when you've got a situation like that, you've got a fighter, and they cannot win. They cannot win. And all that awaits them is, is three more minutes of punishment. You should stop the fight. If they in the ring beat, win by points with unanimous decision from the blue corner, Elida Koharia, Armen. So Kacharin goes through. She's got some tools. Nice one, too. Was the greatest of respect to Gal Dekaita. Wasn't tested all that much there. And 10 8s. A host of 10 8s there in that final round. Some 10 8s along the way from the judges in other rounds.